area with 51. Everything in the Vitafly. Go get your man. And I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this. So all oh, y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Slide right to my side. I know she pulled up with a friend. Okay, what else? We you already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers that notification gang. Just click and play and follow me on Instagram, Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama I said I got my guy with me. Showtime, let's pee to nobody that knows bodies. Rare Breed Entertainment, ARP. Mm -hmm. ARP, Lift Your Soul 4 mm -hmm. card. You know, you got the card. What's up with it, man? Mm -hmm. What's up? What, 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 what we dealing with? What's it, man? Sometimes. You gotta hit me with the give and go. Mm -hmm. But it's like a dead body on the elevator. Watch me lift his soul. Alright, so, uh, so. So, 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 so. At the Believe Music Hall. <laughs> two, two, threes. Do you believe? Gang, gang, gang. Um, Rare Breed Entertainment, September 4th. What's on there, man? Main event. It's gonna be Charlie Eclipse versus Big K. Okay. You got. Emerson Kennedy versus Chef Trez. Right. You got Street Hems versus Bonnie Godiva. Mm. Ill Will versus Clean Paper. Mm -hmm. O Red versus B Magic. Mm. Excel versus Danger Zone. Mm. And then we got Will Major versus Six Eight. I think that's the one SK. Okay. Who's the Will? That's a that's a pretty pretty cool card. You know what I'm saying? It's got some good battles on there. We'll, we'll, we start. We'll start man, with I'm about to jump out the gate with it. Big K versus Charlie Clips, man. Okay. The got, return uh, of clips. I got clips two one. I just ordered a lamb pizza with extra snail feet. I'll be back. All right. Oh, all right. Okay. Right, I'll be back. Uh, Big K versus Charlie Clips. Um, Charlie Clips has uh, been gone for a minute. Now he's back with the jump off. Uh, the goons was in the club in case something jumped off. And Big K has been going on a slight run um, where it just seems like he just can't. He can't really catch a loss. Um, because they, they switched up his competition against uh, Big K. I think that was with Clone. And I think I had Big K winning that one. Um, Big K just belongs on RBE. That's that's kind of like they, they, they gatekeeper. Uh, I think they had, uh, it was Big K. Uh, who did Big K battle last, uh, on, on the last Max Island? It wasn't Clone. It was before that. But I'm going to get to that. Um, me personally, uh, I really am excited to see what Charlie Clips can do. If there's any battle rapper that I think that I would only give those excuses like, oh, if he's 100%, oh, if he's going to actually do what he's supposed to do. Charlie Cliss is probably my only person that I, I for sure, for sure, don't know what he's about to do. It's like, you know, once you see certain patterns with other with other battle rappers, you kind of get sick of it. Me personally, with Charlie Clips, even him going, hmm, 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 I, I was cool with that. You know what I'm saying? I was definitely cool with that. Um, Big K... Is um still going to be doing the 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 the, the, the punch every single uh, line. He's no longer EFB, so he he's going to be punching every line instead of uh, every fucking bar. It's going to be punching every line. Um, I I don't know. It's just I just feel like Big K is not um, motivated enough. Uh, I well, usually I don't see him doing a lot of pro promo, and he doesn't do a lot. But well, then again, I don't really see what he do because I'm blocked, and that's what be happening to me. You know what I'm saying? So. I think I'm going to have to go with Charlie Clips 2-1. Um, uh, element of surprise, I'm pretty sure the first round, Clips is going to do his thing. Second and third round, we can see what happens. As long as Clips don't choke, you know what I'm saying? I think we're going to be all good money, though. You know what I mean, I guess I'll just wait till Vada gets back with the squirrel pizza, with whatever he ordered. But, yeah. Next battle. Oh, yeah, I'm back. What's up, man? Was it good? Yeah, I'm straight. What's up? You ain't give me a slice of selfishness. It's up, yeah. Alright, uh, we got Ill Will versus Clean Paper. <laughs> you start. Uh, Ill Will, 2-1. Um, um, and that's, uh, Ill Will could actually win this one 4-zip. Um, because he wouldn't have to flip a coin, so he automatically wins the coin toss. Because I don't think Clean Paper's going to show up. Sorry. <laughs> I don't have any faith of Clean Paper showing up. It will... If Ill Will is there, maybe he could drag Clean Paper there, but uh, I, uh, I just don't see it happening. But if this battle does happen, like if you see <laughs> both of them on stage in front of each other, 
It's gonna be entertaining as hell. I do know that for sure. It's gonna be entertaining. Ill Will's gonna be funny. Clean Paper got mad jokes. It's it's gonna sound real, but when we talk about lyricism, you know, Ill Will got that one. I think Unpredictability, Ill Will got that one. I'm just checking all, all boxes. If Clean Paper shows up, I still got Ill Will 2-1. Damn, if he shows up. If he shows up. You know what's funny? I think he said he wanted to fight me one time because I said that uh, he had no show like for the 88th time or something and like that. Sure. Uh, but since he wanted to fight me, I'm going to have somebody fight him for me and that'll be Ill Will. I got Ill Will in this battle. 15 <laughs> 0. Whether he shows up, doesn't show up, not show up. First of all, Ill Will does everything better raps, rebuttals, freestyles, uh, has better performance, is more dangerous MC, and he's going to be there. So, I mean, it is what it is. I'm not going to say nothing negative or talk too crazy, but I will say this. I got Ill Will winning, whether he shows up, whether he don't show up, or whatever the case may be. And you know what was funny? I thought it was like so weird that that he caught up, got in his feelings because people was talking about no showing battles when <laughs> like Hitman said in his battle too, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I, it is what it is, but I mean, it's a narrative <laughs> that uh, hopefully he do be there, you know what I'm saying? Uh, hopefully he does show up. I'm I not. Mean, if anything, maybe maybe you can drag him to the. <laughs> Never mind. All right. <laughs> I would do. <laughs> Anyway, it will fall. Oh my God! Yeah, uh, yeah, I, yeah. I got, I kind of got it the same way. Um, but you know, I guess, uh, I guess, you know, we, 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 we should, we will have to see that. Yeah. O Red versus B Magic. I'm torn with this. One. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm really torn with this one because I don't. I think I'm gonna have to do. Yep. Uh, so I don't know if, if O Red gonna have all his voice. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if B Man is gonna have all his rounds. <laughs> so it's just like I'm very iffy about this battle. Yes, I said it. I said it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't like y'all get mad at me because I say shit that y'all be thinking. Right. This is exactly what y'all are thinking. Stop playing. Mm -hmm. Think about Old Red's last performance. He let Jag walking. He let Jag walking. Why? Cause he. Cause his mind was on. No, mm -mm. I'm gonna mm -hmm. need you to chill. B Magic, his last few performances have been okay. Right. Like he's been doing his three rounds. I I really loved him versus Jerry. I really loved him versus Jerry West. Mm -hmm. I really loved him versus Coffee. Okay. When we talk about B Magic battles, I did not yeah, he like. He was definitely it. good versus B, but he was getting gassed by Danger Zone. Oh, oh. oh yeah, 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 remember that shit. I but I did like. Other than Danger Zone, it was sort of warranted gas because I did like the coffee. I like every coffee flip. When you know what I'm saying, okay. you know when somebody flip, like there's flips. There's when Rum Nitty flip your name, it's about to be the craziest flip you ever heard. When B Magic flip your name, he's gonna give you every flip that's ever possible. Mm -hmm. And then you also got when Daylight flip your name, it's literally like biblical. Like it was it etched in stone the way he flips your name. We are gonna get into that. Too. His best was his, but we all know his best two battles ever. Yeah. Conceded Charlie Clips. The same thing uh -huh. was true. Was, you I know it. how we be moving that dog. I'm moving I'm you moving and you. you. A, per <laughs> a personal favorite for me is B Magic versus Tay Rock. Because they were that both. Was fire. They literally were both at the apex at that point. That was definitely fire. I, that B Magic from 14, 15, 16. What? That guy's long what? gone and we'll probably never see him that again. One? That was one of the greatest. B Magic probably had one of the greatest runs. In battle rap, period. Like he had, cause it was, it was. He had battled in a row. It was DNA. Mm -hmm. It was Charlie Clips. Mm -hmm. Conceded. Mm -hmm. Tay Rock. Tay Rock. He had a fucking like, run. like, like. If we talk about a run, Magic was on that run. That's what I said. Rock was on the same way, but you know, Rock clearly surpassed him. But like I said, with B Magic's material, he kind of fell off. Cause he, I guess it was what, what was it, the chess battle. No. He beat Chess. Chess stumbled and fumbled all Yeah, yeah, that was that battle. Which battle was it? Was it Av? It was Av. Av battle. It was a lot of bad battles. But he just had a whole... He lost the Saga. He lost the Av. He lost a lot of battles, you know what I'm saying? It kind of killed... See, the thing is, there's a... There's a such thing called a talent and tolerance, you know what I'm saying? And when... You have a great amount of talent, the tolerance people will have for you is mm. high. Yeah. But when you're not performing very well, the tolerance people have for you is at a very lower well. level mm -hmm. too. So if you're a very talented artist that does very well all the time, mm. 
and you have a bad battle, the tolerance is still high. Mm -hmm. But then when it goes down, it goes they go down together. And mm -hmm. after it happens a couple of times, the tolerance drops it's to like, the fucking listen, floor. I'm it's like, oh, I don't want to see this shit anymore. <laughs> so B Magic has not had enough sustainable equity mm. to be able Ooh, this is good. Yeah. He has not had enough sustainable <laughs> equity to be able to garner the attention and notoriety that he would or should, because he's been around as long as the hitman, as long as the verbs, as long as not as long, but just as long. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's been around for quite a long time. Yeah. Damn near ten years. He was kinda like the fourth pillar after remedy from Exactly. Yeah, so to be where he's at right now, you know what I'm saying, like it mean it, it 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 says a lot. Now, with O Red, he's fallen a lot too. You know, he's had he had a great run, got to the top of battle rap, and now he's at a point now where it's like when he battles, we're literally like, is he gonna lose his voice? Is yeah. he gonna lose his teeth? Is he gonna like I, I yo for real? I'm not even hitting you. Like I swear, yo, I forgot about yo, the teeth. Yo, this shit crazy. Like it's like what is he like? <laughs> is he gonna make it? Like he's got. The, is he gonna make it through his rounds? Is he gonna lose his voice? Like it's too many variables now. Like, as I said, are we gonna get through? Can we get through three rounds clean? Like What's it? ARP rare breed. This one, like, and I love, I love rare breed because rare breed would book this type of card. Like mm -hmm. they would book that type of battle right. because you wouldn't expect them two to battle each other. But okay, mm -hmm. you want to see it though. You want to see it. So with all that being said, if Old Red has all three rounds clear clarity voice. Um, uh, and I'm talking about he had the chamomile tea and the ginseng drops with the little lemon in it as well. I think Old Red could walk away. I don't even I think. I'm pretty sure Old Red could walk away with it. Mm -hmm. But B Magic, three rounds, a lot of red flips. B Magic could also slide out. Of, I, the, the, you know what? I'm going to cash in. Mm -hmm. This battle could go either way for me. Right. Go either way? Just go either way for me. You pick. <laughs> Whoever you pick, I'm gonna go with the opposite. They're literally at the same <laughs> level right now. Like, I could literally go with a double negative becoming a positive. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's literally like, you know, I don't wanna talk too down, but it's kinda like a trap game for both, because it's it's, it's it's one of them things where it could be so two people doing so bad that they could, it turns out good. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because with B Magic, like you just don't know what you're gonna get. You know, you you could get the stumbly fumbly B Magic, or you can get the oh, that's just why he is who he is. Mm -hmm. It's just the so flow, the flow with the bars. It it works for him. Yeah. Oh man. Mm -hmm. The winner two one. I don't know. I got nobody. I don't have nobody. I'm not even gonna cap. I got See? nobody. The winner. See? I got the winner two one. Well, let's let's move on. It could be it could be a, a bad battle or it could be a chef Traz and Sharon. Yeah. You wasn't expecting them to go off the way that they did. Now I thought that they was gonna have some a war because they could both freestyle and all other shit. But what, 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 what it was you Danny and A Ward that a lot of people was was like, yo, that's the that's the one. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Literally, yeah. But you know, uh, you know what I'm saying? You know, cause we, uh, 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 who was it? Uh, it uh, I think we got a uh, Emerson Kennedy versus Chef Tress. Speaking of Chef Tress, Emerson Kennedy versus Chef Tress. Um, Emerson Kennedy, uh, he was one of them guys that when I first saw him, first time I ever saw Emerson Kennedy, I saw him battle Jay West. Mm -hmm. I actually saw them mm -hmm. battle, and um, that was the same night that Av battled Mike P and. Uh, it was a couple yep. other joints. Torque and Dougie? Was that uh, Torque and Dougie? No, that wasn't no. Torque and Dougie. That was another night. Um, but that was that was a good coming out party mm -hmm. for uh, for Emerson Kennedy. He battled yeah. Trey West. He did his thing. Yeah. And he was in New York. He had the the line about uh, Reggie Miller choking the choking at the game, or whatever. Mm -hmm. But somehow or another, once Emerson Kennedy started to pick up his profile, he lost his identity. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like he lost his identity. Like his flow started getting real. Predictable. You know, predictable, mm -hmm. you know, um, clapping with the heat. I be macking in the street, get the flipping on the floor, sound like I'm rapping on a beat. Like, it just started doing that shit. Mm -hmm. And it never stopped. Like, it just literally... That was his pattern. It was his pattern. His mm -hmm. cadence got mm -hmm. so redundant. It was mm -hmm. like, dude, you don't... You're not rapping on a beat. You're not breaking this up. You're not... You, you, you got... You got the... You got the... You, it's like having all of the ingredients 
but you just don't know how to cook the meal. Like you got, he's lyrical, he has lyrical ability, but it's like, he ain't got the seasoning. Like it's just, and and it, to me, it don't even seem like he's trying to do anything different. It's yeah, it, does, same, it doesn't sound like he's stuck in his way. The last battle that I heard that I really liked what he was doing and he wasn't rapping on the beat was verse Jaden Nightwing. Anyway. Yes, sir. You know? Yes, sir. I went through thousands of substance, went through mountains of substance. Mm -hmm. I piled it all up on a table. Call that being counterproductive, counterproductive. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, him thousands of hundreds. And then, yep. You like yeah. him versus Saga, too. Him yeah. Versus Saga was good. Like, like you had, uh, it was him versus Saga, him versus B Dot. And then after that, it was like him versus yeah. Loso wasn't good, and yeah. then him versus. Vixen and him Assassin. And, you and him and Ultimate Madness. And it was like, him and Ultimate Madness. It was like, come on, what are we doing here? Yeah. So, uh, Chef Trez, he's had a little break. I haven't seen him in a little minute. Uh, I would I would say he's more free agent. Because I feel like Chef, uh, Chef Trez has been on a lot of, uh, of, the, of, the, of the other Taco leagues. Taco Bell Battle Leagues. Taco sure. Bell Battle Leagues. Like he, but he still be doing his thing. And he don't, and for, Je for Chef Trez, I'm pretty sure... Book me, I'm, I'm book me, I'm a cookie. Like that's pretty much mm -hmm. how that rolls with him. Um, he has a few battles on I Battle, mm -hmm. and you know that's kind of like the, the the higher name of you don't want to call I Battle Taco Bell Tony Battle. No, 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 they, no. they definitely no. on that on that tier. But when you talk about who's the workman's workman, yeah, that's Chef Trez. Chef Trez did not want to be caught under. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You can't put me under this label. Um, for Chef Trez on RBE though. Damn near bulletproof. He's almost yeah. bulletproof on 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 RBE. I think what his battle with Overhead, that was good. Um, he, we just said him and Sharon, that was great. I kind of look at it like, you know, um, Chef Trez came around around the same time, not not to the bigger stage of notoriety, but he started like really gaining traction around the same time that Geechee Gotti got on because. When Geechee Gotti battled, he battled on the same card as Chef Trez battled Ryder. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And Geechee, and Chef Trez went on to battle when he first came, when he battled JC. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? To benefit you in the box mm -hmm. and all that other shit. And then Chef Trez went on and battled against Chess. And he battled, he had a lot of, he had battled Rum Nitty early. You know what I'm saying? Like he Trez, had- Chef Trez had T-Top. They was putting him in front of people and the thing was, uh, Trash battle low, so. <laughs> yeah, he did. He did good against him too. Mm -hmm. He yes, battled Danny Myers mm -hmm. too. But see, the thing is, he didn't want to be signed to a major label. Correct. You know what I'm saying like, and I, and I look at it the same way I look at, like, Rich Homie Quan came out the same time as Young Thug. You know what I'm saying? And they were doing a lot of music together. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And Rich Homie Quan went independent, and Young Thug signed with a major label. Mm -hmm. You see where Rich, you see where Young Thug's career is at. You mm -hmm. see where Rich Homie, I don't even know where Rich Homie Quan career is at. But what I'm saying is. The, you have a choice to make the decision that you want, whether you want to be independent, whether you want to be on a contract, but when you're on a contract, you can do this, you can't do that, you can't battle here, you can't mm -hmm. battle there. All of those guys mm -hmm. that I've aforementioned that came in with him, whether it be Twerk or Ryder or Geechee Guy and all of them, they're not battling on Red Breed Entertainment. Because once they go over there, they can't. They, is it. You know it's not even they can't, it's just like they. They, they really can't they because really you hear Mickey Facts talking about, oh, I battle B Dot, but he's got to come to Rick. He's not going to do that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, that one, that's not going to happen because if he goes over there, he's going to have to stay over there. You know, that's kind of the way it goes. Like, yo, if you go, Mickey Facts like, oh, I battle him. I battle him on the roof tomorrow, but we could do it on RB. He's not going to do that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But, uh. Mickey just wants to battle on RB just so he can, he can have a trifecta. He got one on King of the Die, he got one on URL, and he wants to have one on RB. Right, right, right. Makes sense. But uh, what's up? What's next, man? Uh, well, who you got winning, Chef Trez or uh, or Emerson Kennedy? I got Chef Trez winning. He's battling on RBE more. Yep. He's got more traction over there and yep. things like that. That's right. I also have Chef Trez winning this battle. That's right, Emerson. You had to show me something. Now your show, fire. fire. I I enjoyed the hell out that show. Okay. I mean, if you want to just have two people on the show, just let <laughs> me nigga no, You feel me? But. You had to cook Chef Trez in order that, <laughs> in order for them, them plates to go up. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Um, I think uh, last but not least, that's on the actual card, other than the one SK. You got two. You got a uh, Street Hems oh, versus yeah. Bonnie Godiva. You mm -hmm. got Danger Zone versus XL. All right. Uh, I'll start with Street Hems versus Bonnie Godiva. Uh, Street Hems is it's good to see him finding his way on cards. You know, he did have that virtual battle with Murder Mook, and he, he did the King of the Dive season joint, uh, but he hasn't. He has not 
uh, relish in the fruits of the labor of the four horsemen. You Correct. Know what I'm saying like you've seen like guys like A Ward at the top of battle rap right now. Loso's got New Jersey twerk on his URL card, mm -hmm. and uh, Saga's you know he's he found his feet already, lost his feet, he's finding them again. Mm -hmm. Oops is oops. He's doing his, he's having a phenomenal run. He just had a battle with Jack Boy Main that came out. He had other battles on URL. He's won mm -hmm. them all, mm -hmm. but he you know he just lost the joint Jack Boy. But he's doing good with himself. Right. Street Hems has not had the same share of success as the rest of the guys. Um, I will say, you know, he does well, he's promote, he promotes himself, he sends clips, he does this, that, and the third, he continues to keep himself active. But uh, what is it? What, 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 what do you think? You, you've judged a battle of his or whatever the case. What, what is not there? Um, the main ingredients is what's not there. And that okay. is, uh, there's a lot of stage presence that I think Shree Hems is missing. Okay. Um, but he's definitely worked his way around it because he got clips of you know the the Captain Saber, the Captain Saber the the, the the whole the uh, Holy Fans joint. Mm -hmm. Like he's gonna go viral for that. Mm -hmm. You know, there's also the the the, the octuple entendre I seen him do. And it was it was ridiculous, but right. you ain't gotta do all that. I'm just saying, you ain't gotta do all that. But you, he's trying to reach that god level tier of writing. But here's the thing about you being god level tier of writing. You don't have the God level tier of notoriety. Mm. This could be your coming out party because this is another look for you on another league that you could possibly be the head or the face of. You get what I'm saying? Okay. Like, this is a situation where Street Hems can be better off on the bigger stage, but okay. this he got to show proof. Mm -hmm. And for you to be going up against. <sighs> oh my God. <laughs> The person that you're going up against is Bonnie Godiva. You got no other choice but to beat her. I'm just saying, like, Bonnie ain't been winning. Bonnie mm -hmm. don't be winning. Mm -hmm. like, like, her last battle versus Casey, I got Casey winning the battle. So, I don't think Bonnie... Uh, she did a... Uh, she did a uh, who did, oh, my God. She lost to Mac Myron. Badly. Oh, Badly. my God. That body I've been patiently oh. waiting for a track to explode on her. Oh, oh. My God, Bonnie. Why do you keep getting back up? But... And why do you keep battling next anyway? But, you know, the fact that Street Hymns got the, 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 you know, the cat the saber hole and that he can use this angle to kind of, you know, keep, keep going with that narrative. Street Hymns shouted me out in his battle. Talk. Break down the bars and show the pin distance. Cause for those that thought this be a toss up, it'll end different. I've been spitting. But how supposed to make it to the finals when they get loud and lift prone? I, yeah, yeah, I, I got you. I got you. I appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you have the eight, eighty-five octuple on time. Yeah, octuple octuple on time. I Double got three hymns winning because uh, simply Bonnie get out don't win battles. Nope. So we can just keep it moving. Yeah. Uh, then you got Excel versus Danger Zone. This mm -hmm. battle, I believe, uh, there's always one battle on the card where it's like, I know lyrically I'm about to have fun. Mm -hmm. And Excel versus Danger Zone, I'm. About to have some lyrical fun with this. Yeah. Excel did very, very well in his um in his um uh, battle versus uh, Born on um on King of the Dot, and I'm talking about like that was a nice lyrical fun bar fest. Excel beat A Ward. He did. He doesn't get the credit that he, he deserves did. or the admiration or props that he deserves yep. for it, but he beat A Ward. He did. Pretty clear too. It ain't too many people that can say that, but you know, but. <sighs> Danger Zone is battle tested as well. Mm -hmm. um, it all depends on who can translate better to the crowd. I think mm -hmm. both of them have issues with translating to the crowd. If you ask me, I think they both had that issue. Okay. Um, with Danger Zone, he takes a little longer to get to the punch, and then when that punch he gets there, you understand and exp and you and you understand and how he explained and how he got there. Just like mm, that bar wasn't that crazy. Whereas Excel, he be saying some shit that be like some deep, deep shit. Niggas be like, hold on, wait, hold on, wait, what? Wait, hold on, wait? Mm -hmm. That's how Excel raps. So the winner of that battle, to me, I think this one could go either way as well. It depends on who gets the better crowd participation and crowd reaction. Neither one of them cares about it, but mm -hmm. if they did cater to it a little bit more, you would see the definite winner. Right. Lyrically, though, I got Excel. Yeah, I definitely think... Um XL will get this one. I don't think XL in his career overall has really got the admiration, yeah. respect, or the battles that he probably deserved mm -hmm. for whatever reason. Um, I don't know what it is. But uh, what I will say is um, Danger Zone is definitely another one of those guys who, when I first... <laughs> Stop. 
<laughs> you do this every time too. You do the stare up. Like when I first saw. Like when I first started <laughs> this shit in like 15, 16. I've been doing that shit about five years now. Mm -hmm. um, Danger Zone was like at the top of like all of the top MCs of the year list and shit like that. Like he was at the top. That nigga was like one of the best MCs out there. Like Danger Zone was really killing shit. I don't know what happened or how it happened or why it happened, but he went from like up here in battle rap to like way down, 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 barely scratching mid tier level right now. Like Danger Zone shit. Big chaos. Whooped. Yeah, he didn't. Feel his that. ass. <laughs> It, it was clean, clean too. He whooped him off the URL back to <laughs> back to Red Breed. No, no, no. Somebody, uh, uh, he uh, Danger Zone battled somebody else before he went to Red Breed. Was it female? I don't know. Who he battled? I don't remember. Was We're not gonna sit here. I'm not gonna sit here and try to remember that no, shit. I know right. he did though. But well, go ahead. Um, I do have uh, I do have Excel winning this battle. Mm. Overall, a uh, pretty solid card. It, it's not. It doesn't have max out that that yeah that that big 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 you know you know, the big bang it doesn't have that big bang on it you know yeah. what I'm saying but I will say uh it it is definitely got some fire on it you know what I'm saying like, I'm not gonna lie I mean I'm 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 excited I'm still gonna pay I'm gonna mm -hmm. watch it I'm mm -hmm. definitely gonna see what's up with it you know that's just me you know but I and I gotta get there early because you know Danger Zone and Excel that's probably gonna be one of the first few after the one SK boom let's mm -hmm. go. So yeah. I think it's gonna be a good battle. Though. I think it's gonna be a good card. Yeah, I think it'll. I think it'll. It should, it should live up to the uh, to to the, to the building of it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you can't have uh, Hitman and Calico on every single card or like Cass on every card and shit. So. I think the low expectations actually makes this card potentially be better than what we've seen for the year. You know what I okay. mean? So. Yeah, Skirt off in the bands, oh, took her back.